Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing the Bus Simulator 5. That's right, Bus Simulator 5. This is a script made by I'm Not Mental, Yoha, and PNW Parks Fan. Okay, so shout out to the creators. These are the creators right here. When you get down to this page, what you want to do is scroll down till you get to the description. And you want to read the full description, all right? Definitely read the full description. Um, I'm not mental is very good on adding in a lot of stuff in the description, you know, what I mean very important information as well as including the requirements um, The different features and the controls and all that so I definitely urge everybody to read the full description as I have Okay, so after you're done reading the full description um, And you have the requirements as well. We are not going to be installing any of the requirements today But I will leave links in the description to videos showing you how to install the requirements okay so if you don't have these requirements installed check out the links in the description all right so once you have your requirements installed you want to come over here where it says current at the time I'm filming this video the current one is 1.2 okay so whenever time you come here just download the current by selecting the green arrow to download all right so once you have your requirements installed and you have your bus simulator 5 downloaded on my left hand side I have a folder which is one download and that one download is bus simulator 5 1.2 all right and on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go now inside my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory I have a mods folder okay if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and um, create a new folder and name it mods all low caps like I have right here okay now once you have your mods folder created what you need to do now is go down to the update folder and you want to copy the whole entire update folder all right so once you have copied this update folder you want to go back to your mods folder and open it up and you want to paste your update folder right here inside of your mods folder okay once that has been um, paste it right here inside of your mods folder because you're copying it from your directory pasting it inside your mods folder now you want to open up the update folder and open up 64 and open up DLC packs now we're gonna leave it right here let's go back over to our downloads where we had our bus simulator 5 waiting for us let's go ahead and open that one up inside that folder is going to be three folders and some more files main one we're going to focus on right now is the install folder so open up the install folder inside that install folder will be two more folders one will say mods and the other one will say scripts we want to open up the mods folder so open up the mods folder and then open up the update folder open up 64 and then open up DLC packs and this is the folder that we need right here okay so we're gonna highlight this folder then drag and drop it over here into our DLC packs in our mods folder okay as you can see, um, I think what I have it already. Yep, I sure do. All right. Once that has been placed right here, what we want to do now is go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory by simply selecting Grand Theft Auto 5, or you can just press the back arrow to go back. All right. Once you are back here at your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, next folder that we need is a scripts folder. Okay. I have mine already, as you can see. But if you don't have a scripts folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it scripts, all low caps, like I have here. Once you have that created, go ahead and open up your scripts folder. All right. Now let's go back over to the downloads. And we just want to select the back arrow until we get all the way back here where we had the mods folder and scripts folder okay now don't forget that inside your bus simulator 5 folder we are inside the install folder okay so inside the install folder we already installed the mods so let's install the scripts folder let's open up the scripts folder 
inside the scripts folder is going to have all of our proper files that we need so let's go ahead and highlight all of the files that are in the scripts folder okay so you're highlighting all the files that you see I have highlighted and we're simply going to drag and drop all of those files right over here to our scripts folder okay drag and drop all right so now that we have all of our uh, files over here uh, we have everything installed let's go back to our downloads where we had our bus simulator folder and I'm just going to press back till we get to this part right here inside of our bus simulator 5 folder all right now that we have everything installed from the install folder all we need to do now is add a item line to our dlc list in open 4 okay so um you will need open 4 my apologies if i didn't mention it earlier but the link will still be in the description so make sure you check that out so right now if you have open 4 go ahead and open up your open 4 all right my open 4 is open up right here on my right hand side and as you can see um what you need to do first is turn on edit mode okay edit mode is this little button on right here turn that on before you even start anything okay so what we need to do now is navigate to where we want to add our item line inside of our dlc list.xml so let's start over here on this column and open for and select update all right after you select update select update.rpf now when you select that you should have this uh, red banner that will pop up right here that's why it's very important to already have edit mode on all right once this red banner pops up it's going to say copy the mods folder go ahead and select copy the mods folder after that has been copied select common then select data then you want to scroll down till you find your dlc list.xml right click with the mouse select edit a new window will pop up scroll down to the bottom what you want to do is highlight the last item line whatever your last item line is just highlight it and copy it I'm gonna copy it place cursor behind that line press enter paste and paste that same line that we just copied so now we should have two of the same item lines at the bottom of our list let's leave this right here and let's go back over to our bus simulator folder let's um, go inside install folder mods update 64 dlc packs now what we want to do is just copy this name that's all we're doing just copying the name of uh, the dlc pack then we're going to go back down here to our dlc list.xml in that last line that we pasted we want to paste the um, bus simulator name over uh, the name inside of the item line okay so we want to paste the same name that's on our dlc packs from the bus simulator that we just added we want to paste it right here all right so you should have a new item line with the name of our new dlc pack for our bus simulator right here okay after that has been added go ahead and select save and we can select file close all archives um, exit out of open 4, minimize any other windows that we have open, and run the game. Alright, once you load inside their game, press the pause menu. Open up the pause menu and you will see a new blip on your map and it will be a bus blip right here. It will say bus depot. Okay, it will be like a dark blue blip right here on your map. Alright, so what you want to do is just teleport over there. Or make your way over there somehow. I'm just going to teleport. Give everything a chance to load in around me. There we go. So as you can see, we are at the bus depot. When you get down here to the bus depot, as you can see, in front of the door, there will be a blue marker. Walk into the blue marker. There will be instructions that will pop up in the top left, telling you to press right on the controller or E on the keyboard to work as bus driver. Once you have pressed E or right on the keyboard, this main menu will pop up at the top left. The first option will be select route. Go ahead and select a route. A new menu will pop up with the route selection and you will see a bus in front of you. Scroll down and as you go through the selection of buses and routes, the color and livery of the buses change. Okay, so I'm just going to pick uh, two Morningwood for tutorial purposes. Once you have uh, selected your uh, route, 
what you want to do is uh, I mean once you have selected your bus what you want to do is uh, oh actually you selected your route yeah you want to select your difficulty level you can either leave it on normal or you could uh, set it to hard professional or TMT unbeatable eight times fair no markers route line and blips Wow so you could go ahead and adjust the difficulty level and you could set a different livery for your bus if you wanted to as well all right so as you can see as I'm going through the different liveries you can see them changing on the bus right now all right once you pick your livery it'll bring you back to this main menu after you're done making your uh, changes to uh, select your route or your difficulty level and your livery then you can go ahead and start the mission once you select start mission screen the fade to black and when it comes back in your character will be inside of the bus you will look down on your mini map if you open up your map you will see that you will have uh, these icons these icons represent stops okay these will be the bus stops that you will be making along your route okay they are all numbered and they are numbered in order okay so how this route goes is that you will be driving up on one side until that side is up and then you will be driving back on the other side okay so as you can see there's about I uh, take it about 32 stops on this route no 33 there will be 33 if you look in the bottom right you will have uh, information it will say next station and it will let you know what the next station is mine's is Pacific Bluffs then you have stations underneath that and it lets you know how many stations that you have um, already went to out of the total number of stops you have which is 33 then below that is the speed uh, miles per hour and below that at the bottom is earned and in earned it will show you the money that you have earned along the route okay or earned after the routes I think I'm not quite sure but the money it will show you that soon as you finish your route all right so let's go ahead and jump on the routes real quick oop, oop, oop. I'm gonna hit that and mess up the bus already right so as you can see we're pulling up to the first marker which is yellow we pull up to the marker there's nobody here all right when there's somebody that's gonna hop on or get off the doors will open okay so if you get to a marker and there's nobody there and the doors did not open and you look on the mini map and your GPS is telling you to go to the next stop and go to the next stop you don't have to worry about opening the doors they open in their own and right before you reach the bus stop the bus will automatically honk the horn like so We don't have nobody here neither. All right, so as you can see, we're pulling up to the bus stop. All we got to do is stop in the marker and your driver will automatically open the doors and you will start to see passengers get on the bus all right once all of the passengers has got on the bus you will notice that the doors will close and you have a GPS on your map telling you to go to the next stop all right so let's go ahead and go to the next stop So you heard that horn, the bus automatically honks the horn to let the passengers know that we are almost there. So as you can see, I'm dropping off passengers and picking up passengers. All right. And I'm just going to wait here until the doors close. And then I get my GPS on my map letting me know to go to the next stop. All right. So I'm gonna let uh, Frank go ahead and pick up a couple more people and while I do that if this video helped y'all out to install it or better understand it or if you just enjoyed the video go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5 y'all. 
This is games and graphics. Me and Big Ballin' as Frank. We're gonna sit up here and drive the bus and chill out till next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.